I'm so thrilled to see you all uh, gathered this morning. What a wonderful evening we had last night. Uh, my name is Jamie Boskett, and I have the privilege of serving as president and CEO of the Virginia State History Museum, which, as many of you may know, is the oldest museum in the Commonwealth of Virginia, located just up the road in Richmond, about 45 minutes from here. The VMHC was founded in 1831, so just put that in for perspective for a moment. The 50th anniversary, in fact, of the Battle of Yorktown. Our first president was Chief Justice John Marshall, and our very first member was President James Madison. That seems to be how we do things here in Virginia. We've now spent the better part of two centuries assembling a rather incredible historical collection of more than nine million historical artifacts spanning about 16,000 or so years of human occupation in this place we now call Virginia. Uh, with all that history in mind, and, and we're, we're so proud of the longevity and the impact of this institution, with all that in mind, I will still be the first person to tell you that some of the best work we've ever done as, in, as an institution is the work that we're doing right now. About 10 months ago, we reopened the museum after the most extensive reimagination we've ever attempted. A sweeping effort that was in, entirely focused on us better welcoming and reflecting all Virginians and all Americans. And of course, readying us to play a role in the 250th America and our very own bicentennial as an organization. So all of this is, is really deeply meaningful to us and sort of culminating years of work. We're so proud to play a leading role in Virginia's 250th Commission in supporting our chair, Delegate Austin, our vice chair, Senator Locke, our executive director, Cheryl Wilson, and, and all the wonderful cultural partners that have rallied together over the past several years to do this, uh, do this right and thoughtfully here in the Commonwealth. And, and I should say that right at the top of that list of those partners, I want to thank my friend Cliff Fleet, the president and CEO of Colonial Williamsburg, who you all heard from last night. It has been such a pleasure to work so closely with him and the commission in, in uh, planning this gathering, uh, but also just to watch and admire the incredible work that's happening right here at Williamsburg, which in its own way is sort of a renaissance for this institution. So congratulations and thank you, Cliff. As many of you certainly heard, and you'll hear this over and over again, and for good reason, that we are gathered on an exceptionally important milestone moment, the anniversary of Virginia's Committee of Correspondence. 250 years ago, Virginians gathered just a few hundred feet from where we are seated and standing today, and they created a body that in some ways looked much like organizations forming across the colonies, but in one very important way, something special and different. That in their goals was a specific agenda to reach out to create in, uh, a cross-colony uh, dialogue. And this was in many ways the first real national dialogue that would sweep us towards independence. And they were here for a common cause, and so are we today. Uh, so what a, what a great opportunity for us to, to mark this moment. This weekend is organized with a big aspiration, and it has been since this first idea was born. An aspiration of national teamwork and awareness. This is really a call to action. It's a call to action for all of us, and we hope that it will translate through us into a call to action for this nation. This is a flag in the ground by which we might now start to mark time as we look ahead to July 2026 and beyond. And again, I was, I was really inspired by Carly's remarks last evening, and it just made me think, wow, we've, we've got to think big, and we've got to do even, even bigger. Right? There's just no question about it. We've got to think big, and we've got to do even bigger. And the reality is that the people assembled in this room, invited from all across the nation, we have that in us. We have that capacity to do something big. If we all dedicate ourselves to joining together, to sharing these themes and principles and values of what this commemoration can be, we can do something exceptional for our nation. And by translation, show something really special to the world. So I hope that you will continue to keep that in mind as we, as we go forward. And, and tomorrow, when sadly we'll ultimately go our separate ways, uh, I hope that you'll leave here inspired and motivated, better connected with your peers, another critical goal of this gathering, and empowered to do the important work that this nation is looking for us to lead. And we have to lead, and the time is really right now. I can't say that uh, more emphatically, the time is now. This commemoration should be more about ideas than a war. 
This commemoration should be more about an American journey than a point in time, and it has to be for all Americans. Otherwise, why are we all here, and why are we giving such effort to this cause? So, on we go with our program today. We have an exceptional series of speakers, uh, speakers on a variety of topics that I bet may be on your mind. I hope they are. They're certainly on our minds here in Virginia. And these topics, we hope, will help you start tackling what in some ways seem like uh, perilous challenges of championing history in this complex world, as Cliff mentioned last night, that we find ourselves, to embrace this important milestone with authenticity, with passion, and with patriotism. Uh, but we have to be courageous and we have to be bold and mindful all the while of this, this context in which we live.